today we're on our way to Las Vegas from Los Angeles in a Cayenne Coupe. This is the sport back version of it with a little bit less trunk space but not by that much. This 2023 Cayenne Coupe was optioned with 22 inch RS Spider design wheels with the wheel arches painted, door handles in high gloss black, surround view, and a premium package. This is what the surround view looks like. It's basically a 360 degree camera that's very useful for parking. This is a twin scroll turbo 3 liter V6 with lots of low end torque and 335 horsepower with 332 pound speed of torque. So first impressions of the interior, we could tell that there's a lot of piano black trim right there. And from the door, this is piano black trim. And it also fits a water bottle. This is a 28 ounce water bottle. Fits perfectly well with a lot of storage space here. You can need it. Over here, we have the updated center dash console. This is all piano black right here. A little slot for your phone or whatever you want to put in there cup holders with a 12 volt charger hey this one doesn't rattle like my Taycan and then right here we have not that much of a storage space but enough and this thing actually stays up compared to my Taycan we can have two US USB outlets with LED light just in case you can't see at night when you open this thing One thing that's unique about this car is the moonroof. Right here. I'm gonna open it. Look at that. This whole moonroof opens from the front to the back so your entire car of passengers can enjoy it. There is ample natural lighting here. I'm gonna close it because it's quite sunny. Okay, so we're currently driving, but I do want to introduce you guys to Alex, our driver. What do you think about this car right now? How do you like it? I like it a lot. Um, I think it's very smooth, very spacious, and um, extremely quiet. The engine is um, its actually pretty fuel efficient because uh, last time we took the Macan with the 2 liter turbo in it and that averaged about 26 miles per gallon and obviously this is a much bigger much heavier car and the engine's displacement is higher at 3 liter compared to the 2 liter and it's averaging about 25 miles per gallon so almost the same as the 2 liter but you know, it's lugging a lot more mass uh, the power is good, uh, the engine is tuned for a lot of low end torque, but uh, the turbo lag is actually it's pretty bad, especially at low RPM. But uh, once the turbo is moving, you get a lot of torque and a lot of power from low end. Uh, the transmission, it's obviously tuned for comfort. It's The responsiveness is not the best, but it does shift quickly when it decides to shift and it is very, very smooth. The shifts are basically, um, you can't feel it, um, which is you know, what you want for these type of car. So we talked about drivetrain, cabin, fuel efficiency, and ride quality. What do you think of the driving dynamics? You know, for such a large vehicle, it handles extremely well, but I think that's not something that surprises anyone. You know, it's a it's a Porsche. That's that's what they do. They're uh, masters at tuning suspension, chassis to make the car drive and handle much better than it has any rights to be. So, you know, for example, we're talking about say driving this car spiritly. It handles extremely well. There are uh, different suspension modes on this. There's regular sport and sport plus. Regular being the comfortable setting sport for if you want the 
suspension to be a little bit stiffer. Sport Plus is the, the stiffest suspension setting. And when you have it set to Sport, it's livable. Actually, you can drive this car in the Sport setting the entire time. You know, you can commute. You can make the Sport setting your default setting for driving. It's not too firm that it's that you can't live with it and you get a better controlled car you know the car doesn't wobble as much it uh, feels balanced when you corner you definitely definitely feel the car is flatter compared to its normal setting but a sport plus is when the suspension becomes you, you can't really keep it at sport plus the entire time that you drive the car it does get too uncomfortable too jittery over uh, surfaces that aren't completely smooth but the trade-off is that the car becomes nearly completely flat when you corner so when you want to drive extremely quickly around a corner then change it to a sport plus and the drive mode for the engine you have your normal sport and sport plus as well and also actually because this has the sport chrono package there's the individual option uh guys look we are getting stuck in traffic it's starting to build up soon looks like there's an accident ahead unfortunately we're going over a bridge Or the city of Barstool. Because there's a, tra there's a lot of traffic. So we're about halfway. We're headed to Zizix Row, or however you say it. You know what I mean. So right now it is about 25.1 miles per gallon. We're driving about 75 miles per hour. It's about 15% better than the EPA rating if you drive efficiently. We're coming up on Zizix Row Road in one mile. So as we're driving to Vegas, I am going to talk about the interior and build quality. As I feel on these panels, I do not hear any creaks or rattles. I'm pressing on it. It feels very solid, which good news and there are two grab handlebars one on my left one on my right for those tight turns and there's also another one here oh look there's soft retracting feature which is premium over here we have an LED light it doesn't light up for now you have to open this for it to light very solid feeling right here I like it it's very sturdy and over here when I check the build quality on the cars I like to check the vents because it because it tells me a lot about the premium feeling of a car this when I'm sliding this has quite a bit of resistance it feels very heavy it does not feel like cheap plastic and it has it makes no sound when I slide it back and forth so let's talk about these seats these seats are leather seats with the heated function but not ventilated because it did not come with the ventilation feature and let me just show you around the back there is no emblem it didn't we didn't have the option on the emblem but this seat fully leather and you could adjust the headrest right here, push it in and out like that. One thing about this, these seats, they're so comfortable compared to the Macans. They don't squeeze you as much and it still holds you in place, but they're just much softer and more comfortable for long distance trip. You guys, if you have the option to option the seats to be ventilated, do it because 
It's currently 88 degrees out and my back is starting to sweat. Not to mention my legs are starting to sweat as well and it, it just feels really kind of slightly uncomfortable and warm. Let's check how much bugs there are. Not that bad. Okay, we're just about at Vegas and our average is 24.7 miles per gallon, which is pretty close to 25 miles per gallon. Not bad. Check out the PT Cruiser. <laughs> That's how you carry luggage in it. Okay, we just got to Vegas. We're staying at Virgin Hotels. Since you guys are still watching this video, I have a special surprise for you. You get to see what I did in Vegas, and I'll also give you guys a room tour. You guys check out this Virgin Hotel. It's newly renovated in 2020. It's got a very unique living space, one TV here. And check out this bed, the first I've seen. And we have the TV on the other side, very modern. And here's the bathroom, sink, shower, and a tiny tub. First off, we went to Garden Buffet in downtown Las Vegas. It was Memorial Day weekend with no line. If you really love driving like us, check out Gene Wood's Racing Experience go-kart nearby. It's an outdoor drift track with gas-powered go-karts. It was a lot of fun. I recommend it. Eating some delicious Vietnamese food in Chinatown, Las Vegas. This is what the ambient lighting looks like when it's dark. So we're currently getting gas right now at a Costco in Las Vegas. The gas here is a dollar cheaper than SoCal. It's $4.19 for 91. This Cayenne holds about 23.7 gallons of gas. And we started with three quarters full tank coming here. We got 16.2 gallons of gas here, totaling to $68.03. So we're about halfway back to LA. We're slightly going up. So the miles per gallon is averaging about 21.5. We're about to hit Peggy Sue's diner soon. Okay, we're finally back in LA County. We averaged 21.5 miles per gallon, which isn't bad for a Cayenne compared to the Macan that uses 10% less gas. I would trade a bit more gas for comfort when it comes to road tripping. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I have so much more content coming real soon.